Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to review the HTRC H4AC Dual LiPo Battery Charger. It has a built-in power supply, which means you're not going to need to use an external one like this one. And in addition, it enables you to charge two LiPo batteries simultaneously. So let's open it up and see what we're getting inside. First of all, we get in the charger, which is quite small and can fit in the palm of your hand. We get in an AC cable, two XT60 to T plug connectors, and the instructions manual. You can charge LiPos between two to four cells. The output current is two amperes and unfortunately it's not adjustable. The charge power is 20 volts per each output. And the input voltage is between 100 to 240 volts, so you can use this charger all around the world. It weighs 170 grams and the dimensions are 90 by 90 by 40 millimeters. So let's power it up. On the back we have the AC input and also we have an on and off switch. The moment we power it up, the fan kicks in. You can hear it's a little bit noisy. You can see there is an LCD screen that shows you all the settings and the voltage state of each battery. You can choose between channel 1 and channel 2 and that's about it. Nothing here is configurable. So let's connect two LiPo batteries and see how it's like. On each side we have XT60 connectors and also 2S, 3S and 4S balance ports. So I'm going to connect on one side a 3 cells battery and on the other one a 4S battery. Switching between the channels is done with this channel button. So you can see here on channel 2 we have a 3S battery and you can see the voltage state of each cell and if you press it again you can see the forest battery and its voltage state. Over here we can see the total voltage and the amount of milliampere hour that have been charged to the battery. We have here a timer, the state of the battery can be either idle or charging and the channel so you can switch between channel 1 and channel 2. If you want to start charging you have to go to the right channel you want to charge press the button and you can see now it's being charged and you can see here the timer. There are no other options, there are no storage options and you cannot even set the ampere of each channel. Right now it's charging on 1.3 amperes and if you press the channel again and press channel 1, right now the 4S battery is being charged with 1.3 amperes. In addition, you can't change the type of the battery. You can only charge a LiPo battery. So if you're looking to charge LIHV battery, for example, you're not going to be able to with this battery. So this is the only supported type. However, if you want to charge different batteries with different capacities and different amount of cells, it's not going to be an issue with this charger. If you want to stop the charging process, just go to the right channel, press the number again, and you can see now it's back to idle and the other channel is still charging. There is a little bit of noise coming out from the fan, but it's not as noisy as the ISDT D2 can get. When you're done charging, just press the switch and then the charger will be turned off. Overall, I'm not going to replace my current charger, which is the ISDT D2 with this charger from a couple of reasons. First of all, you can't control the current, which means I won't be able to charge my smaller batteries with this one. But if your main batteries are 4S or 3S batteries between 1 to 2 amperes, I think it's going to be quite all right for you. The price point is really great. It costs less than $25 and there is a built-in power supply inside, which means you don't have to use a bulky power supply. You can use it also all around the world. So I think overall, if you're looking for a budget-friendly travel charger, I think it can be a pretty good solution. In addition, having a backup charger is not a bad idea because things can get wrong and I think for less than $25 or even $25, it can make a pretty good backup charger. So as always, I thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about this charger or even any other product, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye.